Hello, welcome to Easy Update. Uh, so I was just perusing Steam and, and happened upon this, this game, which is a post-apocalyptic puzzle game which uses modular synthesizers to solve log logic puzzles. And so I thought, well, hell, if that's not a game relevant to my interests, I don't know what is. So here we are to, to, to play this. Uh, this is a demo. There's a free demo, so let's see. The music is pleasant already. Okay, machine stopped. Love it. Machines are like, get me out of here. We live on a farm. Hey, it's me, Miriam. Don't know why I'm here. Gotta fix the farm! How do I do that? All the machines on the farm are gonna need to have their internal electronics rewired through the power of modular synthesis. Modular rewiring system! This is your job. Rewire the circuits to repair the machine. Start with a given source, transform them, send them to the out sockets. Hey, that's like modular synthesis. The brief describes your objectives. For this circuit, you have to send the source 1 signal to both out 1 and 2. Use modules to transform signals. Co connect them with cables. Click and drag on the sockets to create cables. This is just like, uh, what's it called? V whatever the digital modular thing that I can't remember the name of it right now. <laughs> Try it now. Boop. Out one. Whoops, I didn't read that. Complete the circuit. Out one. Out two. Play. Little arpeggio. Yo. What the what a great score. Reducing the length of cables through proper organization. <laughs> okay. Excellent. The system works perfectly. You're ready to begin. So what now? Start cataloging the machinery on site. Start with the simpler ones. I'll do my best, baby! Let's categorize these systems. Well, I expected to walk around. Send source one to out one, but with the signal intensity tripled. So we're gonna need a, an offset somewhere. A split takes in one input and duplicates it to four outputs. A sum takes in up to four. Okay, well. Then we just have to go one, two, three, out, go. Great. Now that the generator is up and running, it's time to route power to the various power lines with circuit breaker. All right. Out one receives source one signal, increased by five volts. Out two receives source one signal with its intensity halved. Okay. Module catalog shows what modules are available for the circuit. Read the descriptions to understand their behaviors. Click and drag any module in the module catalog to add it to the rack. Try it now. Add an attenuator module to the rack. So out one, so we got a split. Out one needs it increased by five volts. And then the attenuator needs to go down by half. I want you to be down here. Play. What? Oh, so it's inverting it. I just had it inverted. Duh. 50% of 100. My god. Farmhouse lights, baby! Out 1 is source 1 and source 2 summed together, easy enough. Out 2 is source 2 subtracted from source 1. Okay. So we're gonna need a split. We're gonna need a sum. Subtracted. Out two is source two. Wait, source two? Oh yeah, okay. That's out one sorted. 
Source 1 and Source 2 sum together. But I'm gonna need to split Source 2 because I need two of them. Out 2 is Source 2 subtracted from Source 1. Would a bias do that? I'm not good at math. Or at least I don't try to be. Let's just try stuff and see what happens. Oh, I could use an atten attenuator for that. If I invert it. If I attenuate source 2 by negative 100%, and then that out, I need to sum with another 1 and 2 combo. And then that out becomes... Yes! Boom! This game is probably gonna get really, really hard. <laughs> New modules, wee wee wee! I love the fresh modules. Voltage controlled amplifier. They control the intensity or amplitude of a signal and, uh, with another signal. This other signal, the control voltage, or CV, is treated as a percentage value from 0 to 100%. It is then multiplied with the input signal. At 0%, the input signal is completely muted. At 100%, the input signal is sent through unchanged. At any percentage between, the input signal is a reduced value. Basically, think of a VCA like a faucet that controls water flow, except you control the flow of the water. The flow, the water flow with another water flow. I use a VCA as a mixer. At each timestamp, out one receives a specified percentage of C SR, uh, source one's signal. The percentage value is specified by source two. What? <laughs> God. This, this shit is gonna get way out of control. Okay, so the source two is our CV, it sounds like. And we're just doing it with a V. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, this seems pretty clearly what we, they want us to do. Yep. Yeah, so we're using the control voltage to change the parameter of the VCA, basically turning the volume knob up and down. <gasps> but you just said... <laughs> Miriam's a real stick in the mud. <laughs> Send source one to out one, but with its intensity boosted by 50%, okay. Send source one to out two, but with its intensity boosted by a percentage specified by source two. All right, so we're, what are we gonna need? We're gonna need a. We're gonna need to split. Let's just set up one and two right now. Source one to out one, but with its intensity boosted by fifty percent. Source one to out two, but with its intensity boosted. Actually, I don't think we're gonna need to split one two. VCA boosted by a percentage specified by source two. Yeah. So that's out two sorted, I think. Intensity boosted though. Boosted by a percentage specified. Let's see. Can we attenuate or can we We don't have C V control over this attenuator. Intensity boosted. Boosted by 50%. Okay, immediate disaster. <laughs> That's not what's happening. Okay, so... <laughs> Source 1 is too low. Intensity boosted by 50%. That, that's ridiculous, but this might actually... Let's see how much this boosted by. I might double it. That's pretty dang close. Okay, what? 16, 16, 16. That's not, it's not making it go up at all. Oh, it's so the attenuator, right, right, right. So the attenuator, this, this is a VCA without a knob is sort of hard. I mean, 50%, if I just, if I just increased the bias, but they say percent, so that's not a bias, that's the attenuator. Oh, if there's no, Input, the bias outputs the offset value. Yeah, okay. So that's what we need. 
We need that into a VCA as the CV. All right, all right. And then, so this, but it's not a percent though. Oh, 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 I got it, 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 I got it. Okay. So this is giving us half of one. So then we just sum this with one. And then that's 1.5. Yes! Blammo! Oh, this is fun. Okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And then out two. Source one to out two, but with its intensity boosted by percentage specified by source one, or source two. Okay, so this apparently is not what they wanted. Would this work? No, because that's going to attenuate. So do we just do the same thing? So the boost... Do we just sum it again? Source one with its percentage boosted. Let's try that. Aha! Hang on, though. I want these to be shorter. Yo, that's fun. Okay. Took me a minute to get there, but we got there. Look at it go. It took me a hot minute. Modules used. How did how did somebody use one fewer module? They didn't split, maybe? This game is bonkers. <laughs> if you like synths, and if you like math, and if you like figuring stuff out, boy, is this the game for you. <laughs> uh, I enjoy it. It makes you feel like an idiot, and then it makes you feel like a genius. <laughs> like any good puzzle game. Um, thanks for joining me. Talk to you later. Good night and good game. Bye.